Hey guys! It's HPP and we are running away from Fall Arbor Town. Because there's one thing I want to get. Because I finally found what I want to use the Luster Ball on. And you're going to be surprised because it's something that we're intimately familiar with. And I want to catch an adamant version of it. And the way that I'm going to try and ensure that I do that is by this Abra that I caught. It was actually the first Abra I caught uh, in the route uh, towards... Uh, Burden Turf Cave near uh, Rustboro. Just running around there, I ran into lots of skitties. I think they're swarming right now. But I found this Abra that was adamant, and it didn't have Synchronize at first. I went and changed its ability in Sutopolis, as we've seen, but it's adamant with Synchronize, which means that there's a 50% chance that the Pokemon that we're going to catch will also be adamant. And that will be very good because that will benefit us in the long run. And it kind of feels fitting that it's this Pokemon, given the route, you could probably imagine what it'll be. Uh, but I'm going to proceed to look for it, and then I will get back to you guys. Alright. And I'm sure to the surprise of none of you, the Pokemon I was looking for is Survivor. Because I've decided that, of all the Pokemon I have, this is, I think, the last one that I want. We're going to throw the Luster Ball now. Let's see if there's a fancy animation for it. Not really, but it is gold. It's not at 100% catch rate. Uh, okay, I'll be right back. Alright, here we go. Let's try this again. Two, three, got it. Okay, it wasn't too bad. I, again, I could have weakened it, but I really wanted to uh, actually just have the Luster Ball be that. But good to know, the Luster Ball is not a 100% catch rate. I thought it was. Shows what I know. And this Sviper, we're going to name it, assuming it has the right ability, otherwise I will not be using it. We're going to name it his top 2, because we've run into an issue. So, the the way the game works, because I was going to originally use our his top, right? So the way the game works, uh, if a Pokemon is level 100 when you reset their EVs, uh, you cannot gain any more EVs unless you artificially lower their level. Let's see if this is adamant. It is not. Okay, be right back again. Okay, finally, we got an adamant Viper. I'm gonna go name it and uh, fix everything. Actually, let's let's go ahead, <clears throat> let's go ahead and evolve her, and I will do all that off screen as we get ready for the last two challenges in the battle frontier. Because uh, again, if you take a Pokemon with Lucky Star, so either Star U, Star Me, or Victini, and fight Seviper or Zangoose on this route, they have a heightened chance of having the Silver Scale or the Murky Claw. Normally it's a 5% chance on either, then it becomes 20%. So we have an extra Silver Scale, and I'm going to use it now to evolve our new Seviper, who is Shiny, to show off Shiny Silviper. Because it's a cool shiny. It doesn't change that much, but it changes enough that I think it's strikingly cool. And it's a Pokemon you otherwise wouldn't get to see the shiny of. Um, Zangaro just has blue stripes. It's not nearly as interesting as a gold snake. I think it's awesome. The spines are all gold and the body is slightly different. We can actually compare it, but I'm gonna... Yeah, see, the body is more, like, the normal body is more, like, black as opposed to purple. So we're gonna go... I'm gonna go to Mauville, I'm gonna EV train this, and I will see you guys after. Okay, for a hard scale, I can teach Pokemon a move, and Silviper has the ability to learn Sword Stance. Also, Leech Life, which I don't necessarily want... We're going to teach Swords Dance. If I gave them leftovers and made them defensive, because I want to be able to use Swords Dance. We'll get rid of Crunch for right now. And now we're going to go to Pacific Log and talk to the uh, Move Egg person. And two egg moves that Silviper can learn are Frostbite and Shadow Sneak. Frostbite is a better version of Ice Fang. It's really this game's version of Ice Fang. Would be great 
excellent on Strong Jaw Soul Viper, but we're gonna go for Shadow Sneak because I want to take advantage of the ability that we can use Sword Stance and couple it with a priority move like that. We're gonna drop Iron Tail. The reason I'm not dropping Fang Barrage is because I'm gonna replace Fang Barrage with Earthquake, but we haven't seen Fang Barrage, I don't think, so I wanna go show that off real quick because we've never, never seen it. I. How many star pieces do I have? Don't don't need a thank you. Ooh, actually, wait a minute. Wait a minute. If we go and talk to her again, Nine Tails. So I don't need Iron Tail because I'm gonna mix things up here. Nine Tails can learn Carbonize. I don't know why. Although the Nine Tails can learn Carbonize, probably because of Vulpix. But why did they give Vulpix Carbonize? And we're gonna probably drop Psychic for this. I think the ability to have uh, good moves like that uh, beats out Psychic. I think I think Carbonize will be more useful than Psychic because not only does it have, uh, which actually works with Serene Grace, because it has not only. It doesn't say this, it does have a burn chance of 10%, which is to 20% with Serene Grace, but it also has a high chance of critical hit. So we're going to run with Carbonize, because I think it's interesting that Alola Nine Ninetales can learn that. Otherwise, I think we're pretty good, so I'll see you guys in a sec. I wanted to fight this Magikarp real quick, because I don't think I ever showed the animation for Bang Barrage. Cluster Ball looks pretty cool when they come out. That's the hit back strike for his stuff. Now let's do Fang Barrage, because I really want to see what its animation is. Got so aggressively mad. And just three bites and you're dead. It's a 1-8 KO! Obviously 1-8 KO moves are average at best, so we're going to be getting rid of the Earthquake. Get rid of that one for Earthquake. But now I will see you guys at the Battle Frontier. Okay, now that we're at the Battle Frontier, this is Sylviper's moveset. I have Sylviper holding in leftovers. That's blurry. This is the moveset for Ninetales. And this is the moveset for Chaser. Still the same one we used in our very first Battle Tower Challenge, but I thought it was kind of neat that our team was three Shinies. Now, there is a very obvious fire weakness here, but... Uh, it will be okay. I gave uh, Scissorback the Enigma Orb, so he will be able. To, she will be able to sweep like that. All female. All female team. All right. So we're gonna go take on today the Battle Pike. Battle Pike building shaped like a survivor. The Battle Pike. Choose one of three paths. This is the Battle Pike. It's shaped like a survivor, so we brought Silviper along. Luck of trainers put to the test. Welcome to the Battle Pike. I'm your guide to the Battle Pike. So we will take, take the Pike Challenge the level, like always. And our Shinies will be coming with us. We have a very obvious fire weakness, but this isn't the first time. So, the Battle Pike is a little interesting, because we go in and we have a choice of three rooms. The rooms all do something. You will fight... Wow, shocker. You will fight... Uh, there's a... Okay. <laughs> <laughs> back up, backing up, backing up. So, in here we choose our room. Let's see what she says. I beg your pardon, but are you perhaps finding it difficult to choose your path? No, no, no. So, the way that the paths work is we can choose one of three paths, and it'll take us to a room where something will happen. Uh, there are eight different outcomes for what will be in each room, and it is random. So, the first outcome is to fight one trainer in a normal three-on-three -three single battle. The second outcome is a double battle, and we'll fight two NPC trainers for that. And then there's the third outcome is a tough trainer, which is a single battle that's supposed to be harder than the first kind. This is supposed to be the hardest of the uh, outcomes, because otherwise they get kind of wild. Wild Pokemon is the next one. You'll go through a maze full of wild Pokemon, usually stuff like Wobbuffet, Dusclops, Electrode. Five is a conditional attack. A Pokemon will put, uh, like, try to put a status condition on one of my Pokemon. And that is obviously not one that we want. 
And then there's another one that's just casual conversation. Someone will be in a room and they'll talk to us and nothing else will happen and we'll move on. The seventh outcome heals some of your Pokemon. And the eighth outcome fully heals all your Pokemon. That's the one that you definitely want all the time. But it's completely random. So let's see what our first outcome is. You have to get through 14 rooms for a round. I am perfect. Give up now! But they're not all going to be battles, so this might take... And to fight the Frontier Brain uh, for the first time, we need to finish two whole circuits and then ten whole circuits. Uh, that's based off of what Bulbapedia told me. I don't actually... haven't actually completed the pedal pike ever, but I figured it's the Surviper one, we need to have a Histop to do it. And I couldn't EV train our Histop, so I EV trained a new Histop. Histop 2, or Histop the second. That is a Cubone, so we have a little bit more speed now. Uh, Furigate is going to be resisted, so let's see what Earthquake does. Now, I do have multi-scale for this purpose if it tries to hit us with a ground move. Ow! Oh, yikes. That is going to hurt. That will actually do more damage because multi-scale got uh, wrecked. Oh, we have leftovers, so that's okay. Not exactly what I was hoping for, but if we can knock it out with this earthquake, we'll be all right. We're all right, folks. And we could not. Cool. Good, uh, good start for his dub. But the problem with the battle pike is that unlike past ones, after our battles, we aren't going to be getting healed. At least not initially. I'm going to use Humba, but I'm just going to bullet punch it. When in doubt, just bullet punch it. I like our shiny team, though. It's kind of cool. We have the Enigma Orb, so it's not going to be resisted. Ground resists a lot of things. I think it resists steel. Kind of an interaction I never thought about. But alright, bullet punch through the Tyrogue. And we gotta hope that our luck will get one of our Pokémon healed. It have... Oh, it has a Focus Band. Of course it does. Great! Double Team! Don't... Don't use Double Team, you coward. And Protect. I hate this Tyro. This Tyro is the enemy. And that failed, and... There we go. Okay, got it out of the way. But I always remember the Battle Pike. It probably is the most recognizable building, but I never actually completed it. Okay. And now this puts us in another choice room. So we're gonna walk over here and choose to the right. Welcome, you must be commended for your luck. Your Pokémon, I think we got eight where they'd heal all of our Pokémon. Cool. Hey, that's room number two. Got twelve to go. And double battle. News, you can have a wild roar. My summer vacation is for Pokémon. Alrighty. I was prepared for the long haul with this one, so I got me a nice coffee liqueur. Huh, that's kind of wild. It gives them two Pokémon. But we get to use all three of ours. Okay, we'll use Poison to take out that one, and we will smash the Pikachu with Enigma or Bullet Punch. One of the only things Electric resists. And not anymore. Thank you, Enigma Horror. And it's gonna put Silviper to sleep. But it doesn't really matter, because it's about to get irrigated. Irrigate. I cannot decide what my pronunciation is for that for that move. I think honestly I should just ask the creator what they had in mind. Because it's like like I said, virus and gate. Your wild roar! It is a here it is a overcharge! That is not grammatically correct. Hey, okay, that's room number three won't show all of these. Just get the basic idea down and then I'll move on to another one. Just gonna keep going. We're at four. Welcome, here we'll have you battle a somewhat tough trainer. My bike is very expensive! I see. Don't ride your bike indoors then. Dahlia? Oh, oh, oh no! Not, not a Magneton. Not, not a Magneton. Whatever. Ugh. <laughs> I spoke too soon. 
Like, oh, not Magneton, not a Pokemon I can just kill with Earthquake. Oh, well, still happened. <laughs> still, still got it. But the other outcomes, unless I run into the Curly, I probably won't show it. Uh, because it's just not that interesting. Um, let's do a Swords Dance. If I can snap out of Confusion, that would be great, because that thing's just gonna style on me with Double Team. I feel like Ninetales would sweep this whole team. Okay, we got Sword Dance. Great, so now I can use Shadow Sneak. There we go. There we go. Get him with that Shadow Sneak. That's a cool animation. It drops their shadow on them. Does that mean that all the sprites have a fully functioning... That did, like, no damage. I hate that. Stop that. Uh, that's gonna do like no damage though. Yeah, I was surprised we took more than three. Quad resists that, and he's heavily EV trained for uh, for defense. I don't think he used agility though, so he might actually be faster than Gliscor now. But I'm glad to show the power of his stuff. I'll probably not show any more battles. Just uh, we've we've now seen all three battle types. Ugh. Double team is the worst. Do not double team ever. At least he can't hurt us. If that's the best he can do. We're also immune to poison, so toxic wouldn't work. Oh, come on, guys. There. Got him with a shadow sneak. Ugh, took entirely too long. And the last one is Togetic. Well, I can see why you didn't switch to that one. Oh, no. Now I have to hit the Togetic, guys. Better watch out. Big snake, big prehistoric snake, gonna eat ya. And that's that. My tough trainer, they just meant they spam stuff that's really annoying. Oh, okay, Togetic down. Dahlia, get out of here. My bike is my best friend. Seen that one before. How oh, wonderful. Tony, a victory of Pokemon should be restored. Oh, they heal at the end of that one, too. That's good. Okay, now I'm just gonna keep going unless I find uh, the one that does status conditions. And I will see you guys at the end of the round. What the? It's a maze. Oh, it's a maze of wild Pokemon. Cool. Hey, it's a Viper! Congratulations, this way please. And we completed the challenge. I must say, you seem to possess luck in abundance. That was actually seven rooms. Hooray! Alright. Good. Okay, so now I will go through, I think I only need to do one more run through before I get to the Frontier Brain, so I'll see you guys there. Ah, watch out! Dusclops use Ice Beam. That's quite enough. Hey man, get your Dusclops to stop that. It has a timid nature, it attacks without warning if it's startled. Are you and your Pokemon alright? Oh cool, Chaser's frozen. Well, we'll work with that. So that's what happens there. It'll either confuse, uh, it, it'll paralyze, poison, or freeze, or burn. But it could be a Curlia, too. Hey, look, it's a Curlia. Nice. You love to see it. You can just find a bunch of rooms that are just that. Can I talk to the Curlia? Nope. Okay. Off we go. Hey, this is a random guy. This place is a pushover. Okay. That was four rooms of not really anything happening. And another one! Not another trainer. Huh, you must be committed for your luck. Your Pokemon shall be restored. And she gets rid of all our status conditions. Oh, man. Okay, now... Are we gonna reach the end of the room now? Oh, we are. Sorry to say, a terrifying event, yes, a horrible one, is about to befall you. I urge you to pay the utmost care and prepare for the worst. Okay... Welcome you. You seem to be bereft of luck. If only you hadn't chosen this room, your Pokémon could have been healed. I shall go fetch our master. And here she is. I am Lucy. I am the law here. I am Lucy Law, not Lucy Lawless. 
for I am the Pike Queen. You already know it, but to advance you must defeat me. I'm not one for idle chatter, so never mind this idle chatter. Come on. Good luck, I hope you didn't use it all up here. The last round had exactly zero fights in it, so I think we did pretty good. And our first showdown with the Pike Queen happens pretty soon. And just like I thought, she leads with the Viper. Good luck hitting your evolved form. I was kind of hoping she'll have a Sil Viper, but maybe her golden uh, one will. Wow, it missed. Oh, that was really, really unlucky. I was going to use Swords Dance, but it's probably a good thing I didn't. Okay. Well, now we're going to use Shadow Sneak and try to knock out the rest of that HP. Because I don't want to get swaggered. Oh, come on. Alright, well, I guess that's fine. At that health percentage, I don't think she could really do... She might not be able to hit us, because any poison moves she has are irrelevant. When we have high enough defense, we shouldn't really hurt ourselves that bad. Crunch, oh no. Do like 30 damage? Yeah, basically. And then we heal it off. Okay, cool. Thanks for the uh, attack boost. I'm actually going to try to sword dance again. Ow, that was a crit. Oh, and a defense drop. Okay, that is somewhat problematic. I'd like to not be confused anymore. I know that's deadly to do while we're confused, especially since we just got a defense drop. But all she can do is crunch and swagger. I'm not that scared. Alright, just up. I need you to hit her again. No, not yourself. Yeah, that's it for me. Okay, fine. Well, that was poorly judged on my part. But let's do Chaser. Speaking of Swords Dance, we're not going to deal with Swagger this time. We're just going to Bullet Punch it. They don't seem to actually switch out, but I don't feel bad about having Pursuit. Just hopefully she won't have a... Um, uh, uh, Shedinja. But Ninetales can deal with Shedinja if we do get one. So it's not that bad. Oh, that's... That is problematic, though. I was going to do a U-turn, but I don't think it would have uh, really helped that much. So let's do Nine Tails. Nine Tails has plus speed. It should outspeed this Dragonair. So let's do... Oh, wait, I have I have uh, Moonraiser. This will be fine. Yeah, okay. Let's, let's do Moonraiser. That's fine. Okay, Lucy. Let's see what your final Pokemon is versus mine. Hopefully it doesn't have a fire move or a steel move. Steel would be more problematic. Untail probably does have a steel move. My face win, I don't have freeze dry. Well, hopefully it doesn't have iron tail. If it does, we might be screwed, but it's not that hard to get back to Lucy. Or, we could just critical hit Huntail and go for the win. Cool. Thanks, Pike Queen Lucy, that was... Ugh. Show me your Frontier Pass. And we get the Luck Symbol, because man, did we get lucky in round two. All there is, disappear already. Okay, now we need to do this. Congratulations, this way please. Congratulations. Match victory from the Pike Queen and clear the event. Recognition of your amazing luck, we get 11 battle points. Cool. Okay. So for this, I will... Uh, we need to win eight more times, because we need to clear it ten times in order to fight her again. So I will do that after I show off our new medal. Here's the Lux symbol from the Battle Pike. Cool, huh? Alright, I'll see you guys on the other side, like usual. Oh, and finally... Finally, after 10 whole complete runs of this place, which is actually kind of fun. Terrifying event, even a horrible one. We've paid the utmost care, remember the worst. But... I welcome you. Since you have chosen this room, I will restore two Pokémon to full health. I mean, isn't this the... Go fetch our master. Well, all of them got restored to full health in the battle before that, but okay. Yeah, this has not been too bad. I mean, obviously having to run it ten times is 
about as tedious as the Battle Tower, but some of them I didn't even fight anybody. You just go through rooms with wild Pokemon, you run past people who are just standing there. I've trampled flowers and braved storms to get where I am. Why trampling flowers? I don't feel any compulsion to keep losing to the same opponent. Fine, I'll do it. Now, come on! Alright, we're fighting Lucy for our gold symbol. Let's see how her team has changed. She still doesn't have a Sylviper. Sylviper. Do they just not want to update her? I, I feel like having a Sylviper for the gold round is kind of... is like what I would have done. Ah, uh, here we go with Swagger again. I mean, Earthquake would have helped, but I want to see if Sword Dance will go off, and then maybe, just maybe, I can break the confusion and just kind of go hog wild. That would be ideal, because we know she can't really do much besides crunch, which doesn't flinch me mercifully. As long as I don't get a defense drop, I'll really be fine. Uh, except for that. That is... Oh, did I crit? No, oh, no, it's because I have plus four attack. <laughs> like, how did I crit on a... on a hitting myself? My hitting myself did more damage than crunch. Okay, no defense drop and we're golden. Come on, this stuff. Come on. Come on, this stuff too. Break through it. Yes! Break through! Break free! Destroy the patriarchy! And that's four. Uh, plus attacks. And that's a viper. Finally dies to Sil Viper. Missed up the second. Chrysalix! Rock Ice type. It will absorb uh, water moves and it will take fire moves and do more damage with them. However, it's not that fast. It's probably faster than we are, though. Uh, it's four times weak to steel, so remember that. It's Ice Rock. Earth Power, that's going to destroy us. I should have just done Shadow Sneak and seen what it did. Because remember, Chrysalix's thing is not its uh, defense. It's a special defense. I should have just done Shadow Sneak. I cannot believe I didn't. Let's see if we can get a Sword Stance off and then go from there. Assuming that I can live... Hail. Okay. So, Hail makes Ice moves do more damage. Let's try to make sure we don't have to do worry about that by just bullet punching this thing to death. Remember, its defense is lower. Special defense is its big boon, and it goes down. Because it didn't basically swap Steelix's uh, defense for special defense. Now we're going to get an Intimidate drop. Sadly, Nine Tails can't learn an electric move, so we can't just storm this thing. But the Blizzard is going, and we have Blizzard. So let's see how much damage we can do to Gyarados. And just bullet punch it. I'm not sure if the stab bonus goes through. But if Nine Tails can get in here and just use Blizzard, we'll win. But we win anyway, because you can't <laughs> you can't outpace a priority move. Well, I gotta say, the second battle with Lucy is a lot easier than a few of the second battles. I should have just Shadow Sneak that Chrysalix. I feel so dumb for having not done that. But whatever. There we go. Bullet Punch, and it's done. Shiny team, shiny squad, has uh, succeeded. Darn! <laughs> Frontier Pass. Lux Symbol took on a Golden Shine. You, I won't forget. You, I won't forget. Ever. Okay, Lucy. Bye. Lucky Lucy. Oh, I just noticed the Sviper on the floor. Congratulations. This way, please. Congratulations. You snatched victory from the Pike Queen and cleared the event. In recognition of your amazing luck, we award you with these battle points. 18 battle points. We don't really need BP anymore, but it's fine. Look forward to seeing you on another occasion. Okay. And with that, we're going to end the part. Next part, we will take on the final frontier building and the final frontier brain. The Battle Pyramid. Take a look at that. That is up in this corner. Big, scary pyramid. And we have all gold symbols except for this one. I will see you guys next time.